second at four. It is a par five, but you get a little help off the tee up over a, a big hill. And this might just take the slope, it will. Chance for the third, well, there's an eagle chance coming up. You could go four under through four for Danny. it down the slope oh well done Danny what a start for Danny Willett so our leader Danny Willett he's in the five just on the left side that's oh, another gorgeous iron shot when he's hot he's very hot Danny Willett Willett this to get to nine this to be five under after five and this to break his run of threes oh and he's done it well, that's the best way to break a run of threes. Three, 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 two. My goodness me, what a start, Danny Willett. Easy pin back right, can get another three here. He started with five threes, one of them an eagle. This could be perfect. A little unlucky, I think it just nicked the edge of the green, just sped it up, another gorgeous shot from Danny Willett. And that's for his sixth consecutive three to get to double figures. Oh, just a little bit low was the putt. We saw Justin Rose hole. Danny Willard, 181 left for his second into the ninth. If my arithmetic's right, that'll be a putt for 29 out. Who ever thought of making it four and a quarter inches? <laughs> Danny, oh, Danny, yeah. Danny! Woohoo! That is some front nine, 29, six under par. This is Willard into 11. <laughs> second into 11 a little unfortunate to screw back down the hill but very easy straight up the green putt straight up and straight in absolutely delicious Danny Willett goes to 11 under par what a day's happening look at that look at that card isn't that beautiful and par 5 12 Willett second shot Got it nice and thin, and it's right at it. Is it enough? Is it enough? Oh, it certainly is. Danny Willett, what a day you are having. Goodness gracious. Just magnificent stuff. Already seven under for the day, that for nine under on the day. Well, here it is, Danny Willett, to get to 13. Eagle pup. He's got the distance, has he? No, not quite. A lovely birdie, though, for Danny Willett. He will go to 12 under par. Eight under on his round today. Great stuff from Danny Willett. Six birdies and an eagle. At 14, Willett. Oh, my goodness. If he pulls this off, which he pretty much has. Cannot tell you how good a shot that was. Now, can Danny Willett complete the great escape? What a wonderfully imaginative little chip that was. Can he make the putt? Oh! First mistake of the round. He needs to get up and down to lead on his own. See, personally, no shot whatsoever. He couldn't have played it any better. Will it to lead on his own? Not quite. Didn't hit it. It's been a good couple of days for Danny, though. Oh, 
So they would have loved to knock that one in, but it wasn't to be. Danny, well played, 11 under par, but what about that start? <laughs> Could you ever imagine starting like that at Wentworth? No, you've obviously got a, a couple of tricky holes out the start, out the blocks, one and three at uh, an old gimmies. And, um, yeah, it's one of those days, really. We, we had a lot of good shots, hold some nice kind of mid-range putts. And um, I think with the wind picking up, it's probably better that you don't expect that coming and you kind of just try and hit some good golf shots and, and see what it gives you. And um, fortunately today, it gave us a, a pretty quick start. Got to love the quick start. You spent most of the year in the United States playing the PGA Tour. You're back here, comfortable ground on a golf course you know well. How much did that have to do with your round today and yesterday? Uh, yeah, a little bit. So I think it's my tenth straight year here. Um, I've had a couple of nice finishes, um, and the game's in good shape. It has been for a while, and it's just nice to come back. The crowds have been amazing um, for two days. You get the good weather, the golf course is in great condition. So, um, you know, this week you're gonna have you're gonna have a real good leaderboard, and uh, unfortunately, we've we've put ourselves in a position to be right up there. Sean Foley, your coach, is here this week. What are you guys working on? How much does his presence have to do with your performance? Yeah, we speak most days when I'm at home and I'm, I'm working pretty hard in the off weeks and um, we're just doing the same thing we've been doing for a while. Keep trying to make them move better and, uh, and get more comfortable with certain ball flights and the winds and, um, and then really trying, to, really trying to make sure that when we get on the golf course um, we try and just make them moves and not try and think about too much other stuff. And Yeah, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but I guess that's golf. Great play and thanks for your time. Good luck this weekend. Thanks, pal. To watch another European Tour video, click here. Or to subscribe, click here.